Now we're going to go ahead and do the minor flange and the jog. And these two are different because you have to create a sketch before you can use the option. So they both rely on a sketch. <clears throat> the minor flange we're actually going to sketch our new flange. With the jog, we're just going to draw a line to where we want our jog to be. So if I go minor flange, you can tell that I want to draw on this plane. And I want a flange that's going to come out, then I have a larger radius going down. So I want to come out this way. And you can't go parallel with the current edge. I could go at any angle, but I couldn't go straight up from here. I'll do a tangent arc from there, kind of like that. I'll finish it. You can see it, it's going to put in my bend here and then have a bend there also. So I finish it and I can flatten that out. The, the bed here for that, that other radius. But once I'm there, I can also tell it that I want it to do that one also. doesn't want to work. You're supposed to be able to do it on multiple edges at once and have it mire the corners. Um, I can also offset the sides if I wanted to. But why won't it allow me to pick other edges? Now it's going. Oh, I guess it has to go. It has to go in one direction around. But you can see it's minor in the corners. It has to be on that same on that same base. So if I go here, I sketch on there, and I drop that flange. And then I go to my miter flange. I can pick them around in order and accept it, and it's going to, that's, they're all, they're all nice, sharp miter corners. But otherwise, I'd have to do it one at a time around the top, since those are different faces. Jog command. If I do jog again, it wants a sketch plane or a sketch. And if I draw a line for it, now it's going to ask me for a fixed face. So what it's wanting is which part of this face is going to stay where it is. 
If I pick on the top, look at the bottom is the one that's moving out. If I pick on the bottom, the top is what's moving. So usually that's how you do it. You do it where the bottom is going to be, you draw your line, pick on the bottom, so the top is what's going to, is going to jog out. So I can tell it how far I want it to be. Again, where the, with the, if I'm measuring from the top to the top, from the top to the bottom, or from the top to the outside. So I can tell it how I want it to be measured. And then again, where do I want that to go based on that line? Based on this line here on my sketch, do I want it to be the bottom of it, the top of it, or halfway? For simple hole, it's a lot simpler than the Hulk man because it's just a through hole. And so you can tell it to the length, the length of thickness here. So the way, no matter if you change your material thickness, it'll change to keep track with that. With that. Then we tell the diameter, and then you just accept it. Now, to, now you have to go back to the sketch. Edit the sketch and dimension it. It'd be nice if you could dimension it while you're at that place, but as you can see, all the sketch tools were grayed out. It wasn't letting like you use any of them. But now I can go in, I can dimension it from the bottom of the part. I want to go that that edge. I already did that. But I can go from this edge out here. Accept it. So now I've got my part. I'll save it. So I'll let you play with that for a minute. And then we've got 